Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Project Ascension. Today we're on the League 4 server that just came out. We're going to be playing draft mode with a new challenge. First off, I want to show you the challenge. You can talk to Stony Tark over here. And right in here you can scroll down and you'll see the section for us. Nightmare section. That's right, we're doing a nightmare challenge today. Nightmare 3. So this is basically just a ton of extra damage on top of the regular nightmare. You only have one life to do this, so if you die, you have to delete your character. You can't try again, you can't respawn, nothing like that. Um, and then this is a level 3 too. This is advanced difficulty, so we're going to have to give it a shot, see if we can complete it. See how long we can survive, if not. And I will activate that real quick. And it says, uh, unable to resurrect if you die. There we go. We got that active right there. And then we will be able to pick our build here. Talk to this guy. We're going to go alliance this round through. We got uh, the featured build here which are just some of the ones that they are like popular. And then we have the build draft, which is going to be some of the ones that they curated for us. Uh, I'm going to be doing that. And they also have the free build, basically. So we're going to go into here. We got the options of Hellcat. That's pretty sweet. That's like the fire claw that we have uh, covered before. Elemental Blade. I uh, definitely want to go ranged. We got Bestial Ranger. That might be nice. Tame Beast is definitely going to be cool. Um, and then we have the Elemental Fire Lord. That's pretty sweet. Uh, paratrooper that might be pretty cool too and then back to the hellcat so i'm going to look at these real quick and uh, see which one i want to go with all right boys we got a special guest oreos over here to say hi we're actually gonna go with the bestial ranger uh so oreo over here is going to show him the rat he uh will just eat his food right away my oh, buddy you get real hungry yeah all right so you're gonna start out with uh tame beast and auto shot here i want to level one so i don't want to get a lot to start out with we start with this little boar here I'm just gonna throw some of these abilities around. All right, we got all that situated. I do want to grab some uh, impressions. We have a new one this time around. It's called a woodcutter. So this basically throughout the uh, zones, there is different trees that you can chop. So each one, and then after you chop those trees up, you can refine the wood. So there's a couple trees here. Um, they have all different ones for each zone. After you chop the tree, you can refine the wood into planks. There is two different spots, one for horde and then one for alliance. The Alliance one is over here in the east for a logging camp. And the Horde one is right below Orgrimmar. To the left, there's another little camp there where you can refine your logs. Um, not a lot going on at the moment, but I heard there's some rumors of player housing coming up. Which also might be a profession. Well, that will be pretty cool, pretty sweet. I'm not sure how they're going to go about it. Ooh, and we leveled up already, got Arcane Shot. Um, so we're probably going to need a lot of wood for that kind of stuff. And that might need like blacksmithing for nails or something like that. That would probably be pretty cool. Yeah, all different kinds of wood, which gives you this guy right here, and they'll refine that into the planks. Um, and then also, if you press N, you can hop into your architect here. You can go to the active build, which we are, the Bistral Ranger. This shows you some of the abilities you have, as well as the ones you get throughout leveling. And then some of the enchants, which are the cool part. Now, these enchants are locked to your the gear slots instead of the gear itself. So if you get a pair of pants, it automatically puts it on there for you. You don't have to train it. You don't have to spend money. You don't have to re-roll it or anything like that. All of these are automatically put on as soon as you get to that level. So level 10, you will have this uh, Mystic Companion. And then the rest of these guys here. Tells you a little bit about weapons you might want to use. And then the armor. And then a little bit of the description here. Talking about the Rage of the Beast. So yeah, that's pretty cool. It shows you that. It shows you all the other active builds here. Um, some of the popular ones, stuff like that, just like the traditional stuff. Automatically picks your stat for you. And then you also have your pet talents here, which you don't get any at the moment, but there is a quest to select one. So I'm not sure how that works, if it's just not full-fledged yet or what. Um, but we also went with tailoring to get some bags. It's very important because there's very limited bag space. Well there is a little like welcome kit that you can purchase with some donator points which I grab that I put onto my other character that gives you a mount and uh, mount riding thing so you can start whenever you're ready. And then also a couple bags and a couple other things. Oh, and we just crashed. All right, anyways, we uh, had a little crash right now. The server is definitely a little bit on the uh, intermittent side of the connectivity and crashing and stuff like that, but it is a brand new server, so you have to give it a little time. Um, there's a lot of people I'm playing on a Friday, so there's a lot of people going on. But uh, overall, it's pretty cool so far. I played a little bit on another character. Hoping to get this guy up, see how long we can survive. Hopefully we can make it to 60. Um, but anyways, the, the little uh, basket I was talking about gives you a couple little things. 
put that on my other character, so I want to try to get as much money as we can so I can Hello. get to the riding for the mounts as soon as possible. We also have our stress test pet, which is this little stressed murloc here. He's pretty cute. You get that for participating in the stress test. Plus, I think some like uh, currency or something like that. I was just excited about the pet. Um, and then we have a couple other stuff from our other server. You get this book if you get that. It's only a couple of donated points. I had some lying around, so I picked it up. And yeah, so we'll get started level up a few times here. And we'll see what kind of abilities that we get and how it fares. We, we just hit level 5 and we actually found this really nice two-hander, two agility and some spirit, some leggings, and uh, we'll pop those guys on there. Yeah, we'll turn in these quests as well. Free up some inventory space. Sweet, and that's level 10. We got their mystic companion enchant. We got aspect of the hawk and uh, improved aspect. All right. Oh, that's free. All right, increased attack speed. All right, we'll pop this guy on. Make sure we're all trained up as well. There we go, sweet. Right. Uh, we just have one more quest to do. I think we also have to kill that Garrett guy or something like that. Chop his head off. And then we'll head over down to Goldshire. Alrighty, boys. We just hit level 20. We got our first mount. Uh, we had the Fell Saber from our other server, so we just popped that guy up. Um, we got all of our bags set up. We got some new abilities here. We got the Frenzy Shot. This is a uh, attack that basically sends your pet into a frenzy, um, and then you got arcane shot. We got the concussive shot, which helps out a lot. I almost died a few times, and that came in handy. We got this focus burst, which is kind of like a rapid fire in a sense. Um, our heal. We got multi shot, which these two are interchangeable, but this one is a multi shot. This one just hits multiple shots with the target. We got regrowth, uh, and then men pet. So we're doing pretty good so far. We did come to a close call earlier. I was uh, headed back towards this lake here. There was an XP hotspot, and I got trapped by a few murlocs and a couple other things. Um, but we did make it out, luckily. I would have been very upset. I um, was just trying to catch up on my tailoring and stuff, and uh, got swarmed a little bit. But doing not too bad so far. Um, we're going to head up probably this way. We're going to hit this hotspot maybe. This quest, I do have to head to Stormwind at some point and turn all those guys in and uh, see what other abilities we get so far. We have this hot spot over here. This is a pretty packed area usually, but I don't really see anybody. It's a wizard. I really don't want to mess with any wizards because they will one shot me. But we're going to get a boar. Still just have the boar. Um, just coward for some Okay. Wow, right through these people. A little bit of- oh yeah, there's one, there's one. Oh, we got six health, boys. Six health. Holy shit. Yeah, we're not gonna play with really. That was- but I didn't even see him, either. Okay, well, anyways, like I said, we're gonna go down here and uh, not play around with these wizards because they do a lot of damage. So I wish it would tell me what the actual amount was. The uh, Nightmare 1 is 300% for melee and 500 spells. I'm not sure how much of a deviation there is 2 and 3, which run 3, so... It doesn't really say anything anymore, so... All I know is those spells are not to play around with. Gonna do the hogger quest. Need help. Wanna see if I can just sneak this guy. Just gonna blow him up as much as I can. Oh look at that easy. I don't want to jinx it, but that worked. Then we got lucky with that uh initial aggro that he had. We were able to double concuss him. But we still are in the starting zone, so I don't want to give it too much uh, credit. Alright boys, we're over here in Westfall, we're going to try to take out three of these guys at once. Uh, send my boar in here. We're going to pop a cell to heal, and we're just going to go to town. Oh, wait, my boar is dead. Whoa. All right, well, we're alive. I'm not sure what happened to my boar. 
Holy shit. That was weird. Okay, she got a friend. Let's him with the multi shot. Uh -oh. Hopefully, we got enough uh, bullets here for him. There we go. Holy shit. Not sure what happened there, boys. That boar just yeeted himself. Alright, well, uh, I guess at least we made it. I'm gonna head back to uh, Westfall here, or the center of the hill. And uh, heal up a little bit. Get some mana and get our pet back. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, we did get some shoulders, though. That's sweet. But I don't know if maybe they just updated that, because, like, he never died that quick before. Which is a little bit weird. Why is this level 28 over here? Oh, he's got that rope thing, I think. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, these guys are doing a little bit more damage than they were previously. I know the server just uh, restarted and updated, so I don't know if that has something to do with it. Oh, hit level 23. Some more uh, talents. Extra damage from my pet. That's always pretty good. Anything good? Nope, nothing. I'll keep this milk just in case we have to revive our pet again. Yeah, that was really strange. Maybe we do need a, a bear tank. Just talking about how we didn't need a, the health part of the tank, just the uh, aggro. But uh, we might. Would definitely like to get a new pet, something a little bit more diverse, but it's not as easy as it usually is. Where's he going? You don't even know where he's going. Look at him. <laughs> Guy's got some like huge fist weapons. Like Doom Fist or something. Boom. Yeah, see, look, she hit me one time, I think, and I'm almost dead. Kind of just have to have your head on a swivel the entire time. All right, we're able to grab both of them pretty easily. Hi, Tarzio. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you missed me today, buddy. Working on my vehicles today. It was uh, quite an exhausting day. And I had to come in inside and uh, grab a couple things a lot of times. And, uh, my kitty cats do not like when I come and go like that. Because they get excited that I'm going to be home, and then I go right back out. Boy, it's not going to lie, I'm pretty pretty scared about this quest. I don't know if it's a, even a good idea to attempt it, because there's so many casters in this area. And there's just also a lot of mobs. Well, there's other players, so maybe if we need help, we'll get help, or... Can we can piggyback off each other or something, but there is so many casters and we have to kill them. It's part of the quest. So we're gonna wait for the board to attack. Then we're gonna hit him with that. Let's try to kill him as fast as we can. Keep our head on a swivel. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, now we're running right into the center of the town. That's just what we don't want to do. I don't know where this guy is. Oh, there's that guy right there. Yeah, we gotta stay to the outskirts because if we get spawn trapped, we can't really do anything. Especially with casters. So we might be able to just hug the walls out here and avoid death, hopefully. Oh, there's a uh, legion invasion over there. Hopefully that doesn't do anything to us. Yeah, see, these guys just spawn right in front of us. Luckily, they're just the looters. If that was a mage and they had targeted me first, that might have been endgame. These looters are fine, because I can kill them pretty easily, and they don't really hit hard, as hard as the uh, pillagers do. Uh-oh, he killed my boar. I should be able to kill him before he hits me. There we go. Holy shit. Yeah, see, that guy probably one-tapped my boar. So we're going to have to uh, just hang out and revive him. There we go. We hit level 24. We got Rock Fighter. That's good. Sweet. Where is that at? We'll put that on. There is a two guys in here. I'm going to send my boar in there. Give him that. And unload on this guy go and then we should be able to hit him a few times there we go that was, that was pretty easy almost there boys almost there 
Those pillagers. We need a lot more of those, and those are the scary ones. There we go, boys. We got them. All right, let's get the hell out of here. We made it. Man, that, that quest had me on edge. I was not too sure how that one was going to go. I didn't think it was going to go that well, to be honest. We only got uh, spawn the hit one one time. All right, boys, I forgot about these uh, Westfall quests, but we got another People's Militia quest here to kill a bunch of those uh, bandits and such right in the same area. Um, there is Highwaymen, Path Stalkers, and Knuckle Dusters. So don't think any of those are ranged, which hopefully is a good thing. But I think one of them is like a rogue, which I have to be careful of. I don't want to be running into those guys or them sneaking up on you while we're fighting, especially if we're low on health. So, we will see how that goes. Cats are really just staring at me. He's waiting for his food, but it's too early. There's three boys over here. I don't want to do that right now. Oh, boys are out of ammo. Shit. Oh, uh, luckily that was the last guy we had to kill. We're gonna, um, yeah, we're gonna have to head back. Uh, I got two minutes because uh, we won't be able to do anything else if we have no ammo. All right, boys, another scary moment. We're going to Duskwood. Let's see how this goes. We're uh, rather high for this level, which is good, but I'm uh, pretty sure everything scales, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, we have to get some quests here. There is a spider in the road, so we're going to take him out. Oh, I got to put some ammo in my pocket. There we go. Yeah, Duskwood is a... An ominous place, considering the types of uh, creatures. They're very powerful, is mainly what I'm getting at here. We got stitches on the road as well. Um, I think there is a... Oh, there's a hot spot. There should be a quest guy over here. Whoa, holy shit, he hits hard. I don't want to get hit by those guys. Oh, sweet. We leveled up. We got deadly aim. Range shots. 12% chance to reset the aim shot cooldown. Increases damage. All right. You know what? I can probably hop in this water. There we go. A little hack right there for you guys. If you guys get this uh, gold Ganeth scroll that people put up, uh, you kind of swim super fast. Oh, we found this really nice headpiece too. 27 next level. That would be sweet. Alrighty, boys. We just hit level 30. Uh, the only cool thing we got was Steady Shot, which isn't really in that cool. We do have to defeat this Elite over here, so we're going to see if we can take him out. Uh, we're doing pretty good on the damage and everything so far. Take out all these guys in the surrounding first. No, this guy has given me trouble before, so... Wow, there's a lot of people over there. I don't want him to get to me. Oh, got him. Nice. Easy. Alright, so we got all the requests to turn in. We're just going to hearth home. I don't know if I'm going to do this one. This one's really far out of the way. Oh, sweet. We get an option for a 10 slot bag. Alright, we'll take that. We did make all of these woolen bags well met. just recently. Let's uh, equip that. There we go. And then we have one more over here to turn in. We just picked up a solid crate from this log right here. It's a old forged enchant that turns your, uh, I think, your stealth into a crate. Yeah, <laughs> that's neat. Found that before too. Um, so we have a couple more things. I think we're gonna call it for here. We're halfway there, level thirty. Next episode, we'll pick up, hopefully get to 60, see how, see how long we can survive, hopefully we can make it. Probably finish up these quests in this area before we move on. But uh, yeah, so stay tuned for the next episode. If you guys liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.